everybody, it's Claire. Welcome back to my channel. Someone is seriously creeping. Today I have a video that I am gonna make as exciting as possible. This is when I want a polished look, gets me out the door, products I can count on, tools I can count on to get me out the door and not in a top knot. I'm gonna take this out. This is my hair air dried after I showered yesterday. And I let it air dry because I'm trying to avoid using a blow dryer. But if I were to use a blow dryer, I will use always a heat protector. It. And some of my favorites that I rotate through are this one here by Cebu in Sashini. This has probably the best smell. You can see I've used half of it. I've already gone through one whole bottle. It's awesome and it gives a really nice shine. You actually want to be careful because sometimes too much of this can give that oily look. So I try to avoid that. So I try to focus it on the ear down. There's also the Kenner blow dry spray. I love spraying this around my hair when it's damp before I blow dry my hair so that I can get a nice style, looks nice and smooth. Another one I would recommend is a blowout bomb if you don't like sprays, but who doesn't like sprays? I'm gonna link my video of everything about my hair color and I actually have a full video of me at my salon. If you guys are wondering, what I get when I go to the hair salon and who my hairdresser is. So I'll link that video below. So make sure you check that out if you're curious more about the color and it's like step by step uh, what I go through at the salon. So I washed my hair yesterday, let it air dry and do its thing, clearly. I like to always brush mine out beforehand so that I don't have any tangles and it just makes my curls look a little smoother and you avoid any sort of knots later on. I've actually really been enjoying a center part too lately, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go first for the base at the lower point here. Since my hair is a little oily, I'm gonna skip the Cebu one because I usually use that one if I'm the day of. Today I'm gonna use the blow dry spray, which is also a thermal spray, and focus it around the hair. Curling tool I have been using for a very long time. It has never let me down, and I purchased this myself. I'm so obsessed with it, and when it dies, I'll purchase another one. It is the Sadu Pro Clipless Curling Iron. I believe it's the one inch barrel, and it's not too big to where I can't wrap my shorter hair around it. It's the perfect size. So I go down and go away from my face, which I feel looks the best all the way around my head, and I hold it for about eight to 10 seconds, and the longer you hold it, the tighter the curl will be. So that's really a personal preference up to you. I let it out and then you're gonna see a ringlet like this. And I just continue around my head. I grab the next section. I'm grabbing about this much of hair and I'm gonna go downward and wrap. This did come with a glove, but I don't do gloves. And then you're gonna want to release slowly. You're gonna get nice, wave to your hair. I'm just gonna literally do this around my head until it's complete. That is exactly what I do after I prep my hair with the priming spray. I'm gonna do now the second layer and continue the same exact thing. So boring. Just thinking about curly irons with a clip seems so old school now. I'm so used to this method now that I'm like, how did people and women do that? In the last year, I wish I could say that it's any different, but it's not. It's still very boring. I look like a poodle. This is actually my favorite part because I think it transforms the whole look. Right now our curls are kind of setting. But what I like to do is take my fingers. I like to run through and make sure all the curls are not tight. They're blending together well. And since we all put the curls away from the face, they'll really blend nicely together. As you can see, we're just breaking up the pieces. And then you can step back and see if you want to add a little more in the front, if you want to smooth out the edges, which is usually what I do here, and pull back. And if you change your mind on the part, you can kind of go back and go to the side a little bit. Just really play with the shape. Mm. All about the center part. I use two hairsprays. These are like top sellers, I believe, and they work so well. They're very fine. They don't put too much to where your hair feels crunchy, which I just, ugh, I hate the word crun crunchy. This is the L'Oreal Paris l -Net Satin Hairspray and the Kenra Volume Hairspray. One of the two I'll use. So you just wanna shake it up and I use just a tiny bit all over my hair. 
just to hold it a little bit. I don't want it to be too hard. I want it to have nice movement. Another product I'll use a lot of the time is dry shampoo. Dry shampoo makes the biggest difference, I feel, if you don't want to wash your hair every day. If you want to keep your hair nice and clean looking, it also adds texture, so what I'll do is shake it up and then spray it within the hair to give volume, and then you just want to kind of use your hands to scrunch it up, and it'll really get your hair nice and big. So that is another really awesome trick. So that is exactly what I do for my short hair, my go-to hairstyle routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and what some of your favorite products are for creating your favorite everyday hairstyle. I'd love to know. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.